Hi everyone, so let's talk about the networking day time. So you are given an end note and then basically you have a time array and then time array is going to give you uh, the source, destination and then how much time it will take from from the source to the target. And then what you have to do is you want to send the signal from node K and then you want to calculate how much time, how much time you will take from uh, K node to every single other node. And then if this is impossible to reach all of the node, you will return negative one, right? So basically this is supposed to be easy. So uh, in this case, uh, this is the time array. So two to one is cos of one, two to three is cos of one, three to four is cos of one, right? This is supposed to be easy. And then we will, and then we will have four nodes, right? Four nodes, one, two, three, four, right? And then we started from well, we started from uh, node two because k equal to two, right? Okay, now we need to just uh, spray the network, right? From node two, and then this will basically be the first, uh, be the first uh, iteration. And then uh, since the cost is one, right? So it's actually one, and then. Uh, these are the same label, right? And then you go from here to here for the next iteration. So this is one plus one equal to two, right? So this is the answer. So how do you actually need to do it? You have to build a graph, right? So you can use hash map to build a graph. And then the key is what well, the key is what well, the key is node. The uh, I mean the starting node, and then the value could be what well, another hash map storing the target and also the time right and then basically you just have to just keep traversing right based on what you find right and then if you visit if you visit the node right you just uh, just mark as visit so you don't visit again uh, imagine there like imagine there's a direction from here to here right and then this this direction doesn't work is because what the first iteration is already used you don't you don't actually need to use this again even though the cost is less right all right so this is going to be pretty much it so there's another thing you have to worry about you have to use a priority queue because when you want to visit your first iteration since this are the same level right if this is cost of two right you definitely need to traverse the smallest cost of time first and before you reach the i mean before you try the second part so i mean second uh cost time right so i'm going to just uh build a graph and then i'll definitely um explain when i code so hash map so hash map i'm sorting the integer as the uh node right and i also have another hash map i'm going to store integer for the destination source uh destination node and also the the value for uh, the value for time and this is the map, right? New hash map. And then I'm going to traverse it in array. I mean, to the array, right? To the array time. So I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to use put if, if absent. This is because if, if the time array is giving I me mean, people K, uh, no, I mean, this is not allowed, right? So, uh, so for example, to one, and it's two three right so if i already know i have two i don't have to uh initialize my two again i just want to i can just keep adding you know, right so it, since this is a hash map inside of hash map right we need to initialize the hash map first uh, so this is what the the source node and i, I need to initialize the, the hash map then I need to uh, I need to get the get the source node and I need to put the rest of the stuff first. D D two right D one and D two. So again, this is build a graph. So you, uh, you just have to know like you want to initialize your node and then you don't want to reinitialize again, right? Because if you say put right, if you use put, then you are basically uh, leaking the data. Right, and then this is initialize your uh, source node, and this is like putting your destination node in the top and in the time. Okay, now I need to have a visit, so boolean array visit, 
Which is with the new Boolean and plus one, right? So this is uh, so this is like uh, keep track of the current current node, right? So I don't want to revisit again, right? So uh, also I need a return value. It's going to be into node, right? So I'm going to just return what if I if I equal to zero. If I equal to zero, I'll return the result. I'll make it one, right? This is uh, this is a definition. So un so un represent the number of nodes, and inside and later on I will just keep decrement my un, right? And also I need a priority queue, right? Priority queue. I'm just going to use the inner rate. I will explain why later. So priority queue. Alright, so so what does this mean? I need to put I need to put time and current node, right? So time and current node inside the inner array. So I will just compare based on the time, not not based on the current node. And the current node doesn't help. So I will compare A and B using lambda lambda expression from smallest to largest, right? And then I need to add, right? To do the add new int starting from what starting from the chain node right and then this is pretty much it pretty much it right so i'm traversing what the pq array well pq is not empty right and then i will have to say current uh, uh current no equal to what uh pq.4 right or pq doesn't move doesn't matter right then i'll say what total time equal to what current node zero this is mm, this is not current node. Let me say data, right? Data, data zero, and then current node is uh, is actually data one, right? This is more exact. Uh, it's more detailed. So uh, so what you have to do is what you have to check if visit at current node, right? If you do visit, then you just what skip continue, right? If you didn't visit, right? Make it to uh, make it to true, right? Alright. So if this is uh if this is the case, then we are busy the new uh I mean it's, I mean the new node inside the map, right? And then we need to cons consistently update our uh total time, right? And then I will to me my every single time I'll pick me my own, right? So for example, I'm right here, and then when I'm traversing, right? I will update my current um, total time and decrement my node, right? So I started from what? I started from uh, an, an equal to 2, I mean k equal to 2, right? So I start from k equal to 2 and then I'll decrement my, my decrement my node, right? And then I said it, said it's equal to true, right? And then the time is what? The time is supposed to be what? Supposed to be 0. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be 0, right? And then if I go to if I go to zero, I already know I traverse entire uh, entire room, right? So uh, I also need to traverse my neighbor, right? I haven't traversed my neighbor, right? So you have to think about this. So if you can find your neighbor based on your what uh, uh, based on your current node, right? Because we will keep well, we will keep traversing based on the neighbor, but we don't know if neighbor exists or not, right? So. Uh, I need to say if meta contains t current node, right? If this is allowed, then I'm going to delete this, this problem. So if this is allowed, which means there is a connection, there's a, uh, I mean, uh, there's a neighbor beyond this, right? So two to one, right? Two to one because of one, right? But one doesn't connect to any others else, right? So you have to make sure uh, the one is still inside my map, which is what connect with another node. But if not, then we ignore, right? So if this is true, then we need to find out what's my neighbor. So my neighbor get the current node of T say, right? So, so what does this mean? Um, this is the map, right? my my graph right so i will get the get the entire sorry so i will get a current node based on the key set so based on the uh, based on the key set on the second map so uh, so you have to think about it and then 
when I uh when when I when I get this one, right, I definitely can get a time, right? So I need to uh, keep updating my total time. So uh, I would say map dot put. Oh, sorry, no, pq 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 dot put. Uh, uh, sorry. So you need to keep adding to your pq based on uh based on your map connection neighbor. To be honest, right? New in. So I need a time. So the time is what total time plus the cost of the connection time, right? Cost of connection time. So I started from two. I need to connect the one, right? So it's gonna be what map dot get current current node. But this is not the time, right? You need to say get next, which is what the key set, right? One of the key, right? One of the key inside the uh the the inside map, right? So if I can wait, what was this? So I get a time, right? And I need to pass in a node, right? So this is be pretty much the solution. So let me run this space. So okay, so I do have the typo. Uh give me one more second. Plus Total time plus the kernel. I right, just find out my mistake. This is total time, not the total travel. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. So, sorry about this. All right, so let's talk about time and space. And, and this is going to be a time, right? All of T, T represent end of the time. And this is time as well, right? But don't forget this is time, right? Priority key when you sort it, right? This is going to be T log T. T represent length of the time. So you have to basically, um, when you just um, keep adding, keep adding your uh, 1D array inside my PQ, right? You need to compare, keep finding out your connection. So this is supposed to be T, T, T log T. I, I don't think it's unlock N, right? So N represent the number of nodes because you don't, you are not guaranteed you have what? The number of the, uh, the, 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 the N, the N length, N length of the, uh, connection, right? So it basically, basically is based on the time array. And this is what, this is uh, pretty much it for the time. T log T, this is all of T, no matter what, right? You only traverse what well, once, uh, once every single node, right? And then let's talk about the space. Space is this, right? And then this is the space, right? And this is also the space, yeah. And uh, I would say T plus N. So, so what does T mean? T represent, T represent like the length of the time, you need to put how many stuff inside a map, and this is all of T, this is all of N, and this is going to be pretty much the solution. So you have to like uh, just follow along my logic, and I apologize my typo. This is supposed to be total time, and this is the solution. And I will see you next time. Bye.